Right guys, welcome back to the channel again. So today we are fitting this. This is the ProRam air filter replacement for on the original uh, panel air filter. Um, as I said in the last video, we are looking to do something different and actually create a, a hose coming straight off the turbo. But this is kind of just an interim um, setup. Um, I wanted to see if we could just get some sound out of it for the moment until I do a little bit more research, the best way forward on that uh, hose and creating that noise coming straight off that turbo. So let's crack on. Let's get this done. Um, it shouldn't take too long. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to just to see if this actually helps, certainly with the boost pipes fitted. And then this, we might, we might get some additional sound. So let's crack on and uh, yeah, let's get started. <laughs> Right guys, let's crack on. Um, it's a T25 torque, and we're just gonna undo these bolts and um, literally get all these off. I think there's a couple on the other side, um, so it shouldn't take too long. Hopefully this cover comes out without having to take some of the additional bolts off on that side. But um, yeah, let's just get this done. Just unclip that. And um, yeah, let's see. We'll just expose the panel for it. We'll see how bad it is. Um, yeah, let's just get this going. Okay, so interest, interestingly, you can tell by the, uh, the thread on the, um, there's a bit of plastic coming off it. So you can tell that this has never, ever been opened. So it's never been changed. Um, literally, little bits of the plastic was coming off from inside there. So that is definitely the original filter in there since 2017. So that's not going to help things. Um, it's good to obviously change the filter, um, which would suggest it's never been serviced correctly, or certainly not. You know, had a full service with a with a change of filter. So I'm glad we're doing this because it could be it could be blocked or you know be dirty, and therefore that's not going to help performance anyway. So um, yeah, you can just tell by the thread, literally bits of plastic so it's never never been opened before so let's uh, let's get the other ones off right we've got these two one on this side one on the other side this is a t30 so it's gonna undo these and then that should and the top should just come off then Okay, so we've just undone those two. That will now pop that off. We do need to just remove this. This is just basically by depressing that in and then put just pushing and that will come off. So we'll just do that now. Very simple. Yeah, so simply that just pops off like that. And then now we can remove this and this should just pop off. Fairly simple. Yeah, it does. There we go. So we're just gonna move that out and expose the air filter. In fact, let me just double check that everything's off. Whether it will just unclip. I think it will just pop out. Okay, let's try and get this off. Okay, there was, so there was no more clips or bolts. I should have laid something across here. Don't want to scratch anything, but we've just pulled that off. So that's just to top off to expose the air filter. Um, actually, it doesn't look that bad to be honest. Let's pull that out. That looks fairly new to be honest. I mean, the car's only done 33,000 miles, so maybe it has been changed. It didn't look like on the uh, the bolts, but that doesn't look too bad at all. In fact, no, it doesn't have a date. But that's the old one out. And then we'll put the new one in now. Okay. Right, so this is the new panel filter. We can do a comparison between the two. If we get it out. There we go. Right, so you can see here, it's a lot thinner in comparison. So 
so um, yeah, it should let more more sound through, more air through than the restrictive restrictive one. So there you go. There's the two the two options, or the original and the new. You can see it's a lot thinner, and um, it's a cotton filter. So it's going to let through more air. Well, let's get this on the car. And it should just slip in. Well, it will just slip in. Simple as. I'm just going to lay that on the top. Now, it would be nice. Oh, let's lay that on the top like that. It should just fit in. Fairly simple. There we go. Fairly simple. Quick and easy. Um, it would have been nice to leave the top off, to be honest. I was quite tempted to do that, but because again, the math is there, we can't do that. So we need to filter it back in. So we need the top on at the moment, running it this way. Um, you know, unlike the ST where you've got an air box, which is mounted on this side and you put the filter in it, essentially you could leave the top off, um, but not with this, um, because the way the math goes into there. Right, let's get the top back on. I mean, that is simply it, and we'll see how she sounds. I'm just gonna give the inside of the box a little clean. There's some dust and dirt in there. So we'll, we'll clean that up, just so uh, it doesn't go back in dirty. Um, and then we'll just get the top back on. Right, I'm just going to shuffle, shuffle the lid back into position. Uh, we just need to try and get it married up on the back. So it's always a bit of an issue, but yeah, let's just get that back on. Well, I've just moved the MAF sensor off, um, off there because I couldn't get the enough angle to get the clips on the back pushed in. So we're just going to make ourselves a little bit more room by just removing that for the moment and then we can get that back on properly um, but yeah this this basically what, what the idea is we'll just undo this tape all the way down to here and then we'll be able to bring that so once this pipe's removed we'll be able to bring that over here and have the the hose coming off the turbo then the two there's two outlets one to go here one to go here so all this will be removed and then we'll have the hose the math and then the air filter and we'll remove this as well and then the nice clean air coming straight through the the grills is going to go onto the air filter where at the moment it's right at the back of the engine so that's the idea anyway i was looking at it yesterday so um well let's just get this back on Okay, right, got that back together. I'm just gonna do the bolts up now. And turn this on and see how she, yes, uh, see if she sounds any different. Uh, I'm not really expecting much, but um, let's see. I might be nicely surprised. Right, we're pretty much there. I'm just gonna clip this back on. Up here, should we just push fit? Yep. And then we're ready to start the car. So let's just uh, let's just clear up. We'll get this get this in the in the ST, and then uh, let's go and take her for a drive. See if there's any difference. ST still looking clean, which is great. And then let's uh, well let's get this bonnet down and uh, take her for a drive. It's great to see the two cars together. They look awesome. Right, let's go. Right, as I say, I'm not expecting too much, but oh, let's see. 
Let's see on start up, see how she sounds. If I can find the keys. Not like the ST where it's a push start. Rubbish. Right. Let's see. smoky on the uh Right guys, let's take you for a drive. Let's see if this has made any difference. Haven't revved it yet, but we'll just get around the corner and see what's going on. Right. Let's see. Now there's no sound gain, unfortunately, but there's definitely an improvement in acceleration. Like it definitely feels more punchier, um, which is which obviously nice. Um, but we need that sound, so um, this hasn't gained as not at the moment. Let's just see. We'll go for we're right down here. I don't think it's gained as anything, which is a bit of a shame, but um, no, there's no sound difference. No, no sound difference giving it some blips of the accelerator and nothing but it's definitely it feels punchier now I've done done the, uh, the boost pipes you can feel it I'm just touching the accelerator and we're off so um, yeah I mean that's good but we definitely need to sort out this sound but you know I wasn't expecting much I think I'm losing you here so anyway, we'll um, we'll just continue around the block. Right, guys, that completes the installation of the uh, ProRam air filter or panel filter for the DS3. I actually managed to get a bit of flutter out of it, but not clear enough for you guys to hear on on camera. So uh, exciting that. There is definitely more to come out of this engine. Um, I think once we change those pipes over, it's going to sound phenomenal. So um, we're going to do a little bit more research. Um, I didn't want to just jump into it by hoses and stuff and then find myself in a position where they're not going to fit. At least this way at the moment we can, we've can. we got uh, a new air filter on anyway and we've got the boost pipes done. So, And it's definitely a lot more responsive on the accelerator now. Um, yeah, it's actually quite nice to drive. So... Uh, that's good. We do need to sort out this quick shift be, or, or put a quick shift in this in this box because it is terrible. Um, the throat is way too long, and um, yeah, it just that's going to make a massive difference. It almost reduces it by like fifty percent, um, but it is crazy fiddly. You have to actually you have to take um, the the front of the box box off almost to take the pin out to put the new shifter on um it's a real hassle so it's not something i'm going to be able to do i'm gonna to have to take it somewhere to do um and then at the same time you need to change the gasket so it is a bit of a pain um but that is definitely something high on the list because i can't stand this throat it's horrible um so once we've done that hopefully that will stop me hating on this this gearbox um 
and um, yeah, I'm going to do a bit more research and get that hose fit. I'm sure, I'm confident we can put the hose on and move that math down, and that's going to make a massive difference. Um, yeah, it will make the uh, panel filter redundant at this stage, but nevertheless, um, we've got that for the coming weeks uh, until next month, really. That's what we'll be aiming to do is getting the, uh, the new hose for next month. So look, listen, thanks for watching, as always. Um, slowly getting there on, on this kind of build, if you like. Uh, making some changes on parts and so uh, if you're not following hit the follow button hit the uh, bell icon and I will catch you on the next one